Because there's nothing better than knowing that you could just get there, yeah. turn off your truck, and clock out and go home. Yeah. Like but all employees. Say, like, I've had this problem with this guy a couple of times now where he takes his sweet ass time to like, take a dump. Girls in the office. I'm like, look, this guy takes his sweet ass time to take a dump. Day. Yeah. 15 minutes from now, I'm taking off. He's like, okay, yeah, no worries. Okay. 40 minutes into it. And here comes this guy with a smile on his face, like, hey. I'm like, dude, what took you so long? Yeah. He's like, oh, you shut up. I'm like, I'm out of here, bro. You took way too long. 45 minutes. To yeah. take a dump? I'm like, dude, I already called the company and told him you're... And, you know, tempers flare. Ended up on this fight. The guy got really bad. And security showed up or whatnot. Good thing security showed up with their whatnot. You done? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm done. Yeah, so, really enjoyed uh, having yeah. lunch with the yeah, champion the whiny day mouth day of the West. About customer service. It was all about emptying the truck. And they talked about the one customer and really kind of telling them off a little bit. For me, that was a little shocking. You just, uh, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a quick phone call, okay? Okay. All right. Hi. Hey, Mike. It's Rick Tegner. Hey, Rick. How you doing? I'm actually, oh, God. To probably go take his sweet-ass time today. and take a dump. And kind of disappoints me that he kind of talks the way he talks about with the customers. Right. right? If he has not used 50 times, I'd be shocked. He said he had to use the phone. I have no idea what the he's doing. He's taking his sweet ass time, though. <laughs> if this was really Rick Tinker, uh, I would actually tell a guy right now, dude, you might be an okay guy. But Damn it. Now I got to take a dump. I don't know. I almost fired him today. No, hey, listen, man. I mean, I can tell from your voice. You're good. I don't want our, our, our employees to act like that. I don't want the foul language with our customers. That is not a concierge level of service. I'm not sure where Renee's future is with our company. I uh, gotta make a phone call too. Yep, days end and begin fast here under the influence of wine country. I'm here today in Santa Rosa, California. I'm gonna be working on one of our mobile bottling lines. The mobile bottling unit is actually an 18 wheel truck. We move it around from winery to winery to winery. So, so our workers won't get caught by immigration. It's very cost effective and efficient. I'm looking for Marcos. All right, thanks. As a customer walks through a grocery store, we want to make sure sweet that ass time. Jackson, it's perfect on the bottle. So today, what I'm hoping to find is perfection. In your company? Control. Hey, I'm looking for Marco. Um, I am Marcos. Hey, Marcos, I'm Jake. Nice to meet you, Jake. How you doing? I'm doing, I'm doing good. I'm looking forward to learning. Yeah, yeah well, right. Okay, All right. All right. <laughs> I said, well, they got a guy must be from Texas. You know, <laughs> Guy with hot, you know. He's profiling <laughs> his <laughs> boss. We are sending wine to there, and then bottles to get filled. Where's the wine? Oh, we already inside. drank it. Okay. You grab one case. Okay. And then you're going to dump it. Dump oh, it? Okay. Oh, God, he's going to take a sweet-ass okay. time. Lift it up. Okay. Okay. Close Which one is line. Lucy? You get a guy full, because you leave gaps in there, and then right. fall back up. All right. Grab one case right there. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. The day Kendall Jackson Winery went out of business. All right, all right, all right, I got it, I got it. All right, we'll come to you. Let me show you my way so you can see, okay? Woo! Double. Yeah, wow, impressive. All right, try to do that. You want to try to do that? Try to do that. Oh, man, here we go. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. All right, all right. I want loud, loud, right? Yeah, there you go. Merry Cohen! I was somewhat of a disaster unloading the bottle and they were falling down everywhere. You got that one that broke? I got it, I got it. I got to cut you. That's a skill I, I just don't have. And we don't even go fast right now. I'm sorry, boss. Every time the pollution line stops, it costs us a lot of money. It costs us a lot of money. Hold on, hold on. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. I'm going to cost us a lot of money. You got to keep up. All right, yay. So we're going to move over. All right, Marco. Yeah, you can do more damage over here. Okay, did you Bottles, boxes, you know, you have, yeah. you have to reel fast. And then you're going to put a plastic sheet. Okay. Plastic sheet? You close the box, right? So you go here, and does it all automatically. All right, here we go. All right, guys, we're ready. Game time. Yeah, so don't drop the ball. I mean bottle, Mr. Doofus Boss. I got boxes everywhere. I got stuff running. Push it, push it, push it. Watch out. Right. There you go. You push get it out there, huh? Yeah, push that sheet out. Get the plastic thing in there very well. And... Oh, we won't get... I don't know. Whoa! I got to pick up the speed here. Yeah. Oh, okay. we, got, we got a runner here. He's our boss. He's doing one hell of a sheety job. 